it's uh, wonderful uh, to be here in uh, London and have um, our football team uh, getting ready to play a um, real uh, for keeps, accountable, all of that uh, football game here Sunday. And uh, it's an exciting time uh, for me personally. Uh, we had a, a game uh, here approximately 20 years ago with uh, the Detroit Lions that uh, was a preseason game, but uh, uh, that was also exciting as uh, well. We got a lot in common. Uh, uh, you've uh, chosen to spend your life uh, in a world of sports. Uh, I did too. Uh, I, you might say, uh, worked the first part of my life so that I could uh, get enough funds together to be a part of sports. And I get up and go to bed every night with the number one thing on my plate is the sports. I like all kinds of sports, but obviously I focus on NFL football. Uh, We'll, we're well aware that we have, uh, a, as a pecking order, our ratings might go relative to the NFL, not necessarily as it would be other sports uh, here in Great Britain or here in England, but uh, within the NFL, we're aware that we're a popular team. Uh, I know that uh, one of the greatest feelings that I have is the picture of Princess Di and her young men there with. Uh, uh, cowboy jerseys on is one of my favorite of all time. So uh, uh, we have a good feeling of pride there. The problem we have is that uh, we uh, uh, don't want to forego a home game. As you're well aware, we don't play many games relative to other sports, and so that's uh, uh, not something that we're interested in doing is foregoing a home game, but our away game and our ability to play away has always been uh, a consideration and something that uh, we would do. Again, you know, the trip, the experience, everything that's involved with it is a big plus. Uh, it's great to come over here and play. It's great for the franchise, and I think I think great for the NFL. Terry, when do you, how uh, do you believe an NFL team will be based in London, and how soon do you think that will happen? Well, I. Uh, uh, don't need to don't need to speculate uh, it on a personal basis and speaking for the Dallas Cowboys we very much would like to have a team in London uh, it has cachet it has uh, it has an air about it that uh, uh, international competition uh, I think that London is one of probably two or three cities outside the United States that uh, really does have all of the, uh, the um, criteria that I would look at for uh, having an NFL team. I certainly know that one of the reasons we're here this week is playing Sunday is to uh, help encourage interest in the, uh, and increase the interest in the game and uh, increase the interest in the awareness of our, of our game. So I think it worked. I think timing-wise, schedule-wise, logistics-wise, all of those things uh, in this day and time work well enough to uh, uh, be uh, something that uh, is practical and workable as far as the NFL is concerned. So I'm a big proponent of an NFL team in uh, London. And, uh, uh, my my uh, uh, expectations are for him to play. Jerry, is it been frustrating that Romo's come had this injury and with the excess travel of coming to London, has that kept you up at night at all? No, no, uh, not at all. Uh, but we joked a little bit about he had a wonderful, very comfortable seat uh, coming over. And uh, But uh, that's, uh, relatively speaking, uh, that flight and, and uh, that, of the things to think about regarding his injury, that's probably the least one, was the wear and tear of the flight coming or going back to Dallas. The, uh, when, as far as uh, the, the meaningful games I'm talking about, we didn't play him in preseason, obviously, but, uh, but felt we could have had we needed him to win the game. But, uh, these games are, we don't play many of them, you know that, and, and uh, every one of them counts so much, and uh, you invariably 
anytime you do lose one of these games in the regular season, our experience for us, especially these last several years, we've needed every win we can get. There's no such thing as uh, holding him out for and uh, foregoing the potential chance of a win if, we, if we're doing that by holding him out. So it's been uh, disappointing to uh, have lost these last two games, both of these games. Uh, just as we were building, we don't want to build in the wrong direction or, or go in the wrong direction. So uh, in every respect, uh, this game is uh, as important and consequently it's very important that Romo play in the game if he's able to play. Uh, he has tremendous instincts. He sees the field, sees visually, uh, which when we all watch the game, unless we're watching, let's say, a practice at field level, but when we watch the game, we see it uh, in its entirety, and we are usually looking down and get a, at least a peripheral view of a lot going on. It's not the same scene back behind that center and right at field level. He sees amazing, it's really, I think, his greatest uh, gift, uh, physical gift, is his ability to see. But then he has great uh, hand-eye, coordination and reaction so when he sees it he can get it there and react real quickly and he's perfected that and so he's really spent a lot of his time with details of release and placement and it's just amazing to talk to him about how he prepares himself mentally all of those things we benefit from and um, uh, he has aspirations uh, at least uh, certainly at this time, and he has stated it to me, of potentially being an offensive coordinator in the NFL when uh, he grows up. I think Tony Romo has at least five years. I'd be, I'm planning on him having at least five years of playing at a level that would allow us to be a possible contender uh, from that position. Uh, and maybe not doing some things that he had done earlier as well or with the energy or, or the efficiency of doing it, but doing other things better. That experience allows you to do that. You, uh, when, when I look at ownership, uh, I see uh, passion. Uh, it's, it's a necessity. I see engaging. I believe it's a necessity. There are a lot of my critics that will tell you too much is too much. Uh, engaged in being involved, but I've always felt the more you're involved, the better it is. It's amused me. It's really been amusing to me to get the criticism for being as involved as I am. You go in any other discipline, any other uh, occupations, business, and if that owner's down there picking the trash up off the floor, if he's down there sorting the, uh, the produce, or if he's sitting there rearranging the stock or he's down there greeting the customers or he's on the manufacturing floor looking and making sure everybody's doing it he's on top of things he's interested in it he's a, he's got pride in what he's doing all of those things you do that in sports and all of a sudden you're where you're not supposed to be you're meddling or you're interfering of course you know i'm Smiling about that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. We're just not kicking off unless I'm out there. You know what I'm <laughs> That's all there is to it. Gary, besides the Jackson.